Welcome back. So given that Dan has all this automotive experience, I've got him working on the new um, piping runs there for the intake into the intercooler on the engine. So the first one is the one at the top where we're just switching to a two and a half inch pipe. And uh, the other one is this new water air intercooler um, that's on the other side of the engine. So he's working along on that project. And as you can see here, Jeff is in the process of fitting the uh, four plane spar onto the forward bulkhead there getting it all uh, aligned and leveled out so we can uh, drill the um, bolt holes there that actually hold it in place. And I've been working on the doors so I've got the fasteners now um, most of them done there for the front door still finishing off a couple on that one and um, doing the f and still have to do actually the one there sitting on the floor. And meanwhile Devin is uh, doing a, a little quick wet layup there over this uh, little 2x4 of carbon there uh, just so we have a couple more or bits bit more material there for some more um, brackets for bell cranks for the rudders and this is the next day this is what that looks like when it's uh, being cut out and trimmed just, just big sort of C channel there or U channel and so we'll be cutting a couple more brackets out of that one in the coming days and Dan's progressing with getting this uh, new intercooler positioned so here you can see he's got it sorted out there and he's just figuring out the plumbing runs there. Actually it turned out better than uh, what I was hoping for in terms of uh, how neat and tidy it is and you'll see that later on once we get it all in place and the tubes welded up. But he's got everything there um, ready now and cut and marked and uh, ready to go off to Brit so he can uh, get that all welded up for us and then we'll be able to get it into place. And that new intercooler will be bolting up to the firewall there. So here's Jeff just quickly putting um, a little FR4 hardpoint uh, right in the place where uh, it'll be bolted. So that's just another job uh, knocked out really quickly and uh, something else, you know, that we just don't have to do again. So it's nice to be able to just sort of turn around and say, oh, OK, we're going to need this. Let's just put that there. And, and uh, you know, 10 minutes later, that's in place. And uh, Devin did a layup over there. And by the end of the day, that was all basically dry. So that's that little job done. So it won't be long and actually we'll be putting the firewall up uh, on the fuselage and then eventually in the next couple of weeks or three weeks we'll be test fitting the engine to the firewall. And uh, here's Jeff um, with Devin's help there drilling the holes there through um, the four plane main spar into the forward bulkhead. And I got one of the doors fitted. I got most of those fasteners in. So this is what that looks like with that new bracket um, in place now and just ready to um, tap the holes in the top there and get that done. And this is what it looks like after that's done and the new the gas struts been mounted and put in there and it um, seems to be working well. It didn't have any problem with the door flexing and uh, it's holding the door up nicely and actually got plenty of clearance um, underneath it. It's about, um, I believe it's 74 inches or something clearance to the lowest point. And as you can see the door shuts nicely too. So. Um, at least on this side it's fixed and so um, tomorrow I'll have to get the other door on and see if the same problem is gone away now with that bracket. And that's what it looks like on the inside with the gas strut and everything fitted and eventually uh, we'll get that bra bracket uh, sent off to powder coat as well. And I mentioned the other day that the uh, rear seat mounts hadn't been laid up yet. We were waiting on the layup schedules for Mark but we got that now so um, those are going to get laid up and there won't be hardly any parts at all. In fact anything uh, after that is really small. Um, that needs to be laid up and in the meantime uh, Devin's been working on prepping the flanges uh, for these ribs um, so they're ready to bond in place in the wings. And here's a bit of a sneak peek about what it looks like with kind of the wing spars attached to the whole thing and so we've got the wide angle going here so you can pick it in but you can see the spars there and uh, with a little inbound inboard um, sort of rake on the winglets there and just walking around there's obviously the forward spars in there as well I'm walking past that right now and you know it's sitting up uh, on the block there about two inches off the ground so it's a little bit higher but uh, man that winglet um, the top top of that winglet is up there <laughs> it's pretty tall but uh, it's definitely going to have a presence when you're walking around it it's not going to look like a, a sort of small dinky aircraft by any means um, so anyway while you're looking at that I'll let you know as well that um, over at um, the CNC shop that we use they're working on the um, prop shaft right now, the new one. They've got the um, a PO now, and with you know the CAD and and uh, the drawing and stuff for the first half of the housing, uh, and then Mark's going to be getting this the other side done shortly, 
and we'll get that, that over to them. So maybe we'll see s some stuff come back from that within about six weeks and we'll be able to get that um, the new um, redrive all sort of put together and tested. But uh, there you get a, a real look there about how these uh, wings are going to look there. It's pretty neat and it fits in the shop. And of course, you know, the tail of the aircraft will be longer with the engine on there as well. And here's a different view from on top of the CNC machine. So you can kind of see the kind of plan view of the wings and with the winglets there. So I believe the tip there is about 11 feet in the air or something like that. Uh, anyway, so it's exciting. So it won't be long here and we'll be actually starting to put together the pieces of the four plane and then after that we'll be on to assembling the wings. So that's our update for the first half of this week and uh, tune in again on Saturday and see what we get up to for the second half. Thanks again for watching.